So this is the kit right here. Um, I'm gonna have to modify it a little bit. It's for a newer truck, but it was a little bit cheaper. Um, the wiring harness is a little bit different, so I'm gonna have to modify that. And uh, the pump setup is the same. The inlet, outlet, and return lines are the same. So this will be pretty much a swap. I'm gonna use the new brackets and hardware that'll make it look nice. But that's what we have working on today. So I've got the battery disconnected. I tested the two uh, fuse block and the relay. Um, the fuse was blown in the old setup. So going from there, I isolated the old wiring harness to the pump. You can see the old pump here is uh, pretty, pretty beat up. There's a lot of corrosion on it um, and it just doesn't run right. So I'm gonna have to uh, tap these old lines got lines on both sides you can see I've crimped off I'm gonna have to loosen these fittings up um, disconnect it and that newer pump that I have even though the wiring harness isn't right I believe all my wiring is good uh, forward into the engine bay so the new pump is exactly the same so it should just be a swap but uh, hoping for the best there but you can see where we're working at here So we'll get back to you once we have a better idea. And we'll get we'll loosen these lines up here. All right, so a little update here. We got the filters all off. We're gonna have to pump the or take the bolts out of the pump to be able to drop it. But uh, that's where we're at right now. So we got the pump all disconnected. Uh, I dropped the fuel filters. So we can get all the the fuel out of the lines. So I got the front line cut and cramped off with my nice Mac tool fuel line crimpers. Got the rear crimped off. Now I'm just working on this line right here. Um, got three bolts for the bracket and then four that actually hold the pump onto this uh, backing bracket. So I'll get back to you guys once I have that all done. All right, so we got the old pump out. Uh, if you remember, it was sitting in here, so now we just have to clean up this area, put in the new bracket, and install the new pump, uh, do some plumbing, and finish up some wiring, and then uh, we should be pretty good. Alright, got the new bracket set up, got the pump, new filters, uh, my quick connects, and uh, it's just time to put it back together, put it in. Here we go, got the new pump mounted up. Still need to plumb it. Uh, this, this one goes to the engine, that one's the return, and that's from the tank. So I'm gonna have to plumb the lines. All right, we got it all plumbed up in the front, the back. Uh, about ready to wire it. I'm gonna put some fuel to it. All right, we got it all, all wired in. Uh, got it primed so we'll get up here and we'll see if she starts you can hear it priming so it's priming now I need to get in here and tidy some shit up, but we got her all squared away. New air dog system. I got quite the mess going on here. See my some of my testing equipment, and then my box is just 
got a lot going on here. For anybody that says I don't use my tools or I don't use my box, well, there you go. I just clean my stuff meticulously. Here we go. Nice and cleaned up. Just like an uh, argument, you never wait till the next day to solve it. Just go ahead and take the extra minute to clean your tools up. Um, I have done it in the past, just leaving them up there, but the next morning you just, uh, you know, it kind of sets you behind. So, get everything set up, clean it up, take that extra minute. Um, got some wrapping up to do on this, but uh, people are leaving, so I need to take off. But uh, as always, you know who it is, Eddie from 802 Diesel Crew. Have a great night. Uh, work on those projects. And uh, catch you on the next one.